Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, Shashwin, for the wonderful Mangla Charan. <coughs> Hare Krishna Prabhuji, Danvat Pranam, please accept our humble obeisances. Prabhuji, um, we are reading the Bhagavad Gita as it is. And uh, we are on the 18th chapter. And it's called The Perfection of Renunciation. And the text for today, Prabhuji, is text 71. Prabhuji, um, not, uh, this is your first time in this group as a speaker, and we don't know much about you, Prabhuji. So, um, Pat Prabhuji, is it possible for you to introduce Arya Govinda Das to the group? Uh, yes, Mataji, I know a little. So, I'm not, uh, because we've not met before, just I um, can know he's from Bangalore, South India. And... Prabhuji is initiated by His Holiness Jay Patrasha Maharaj. Both uh, husband and wife are initiated and following the spiritual progress. And she is by profession, she is an, uh, he is an uh, um, MSc in botany, uh, horticulture. He is working as a farm manager in a far, rose farm in Nakuru. And she is, uh, he is so interested to open a center in Nakuru. But somehow he did not manage. By chance, he met, uh, he met uh, Manchikanga Mataji in Nakuru in the time of Diwali when we have opened a sweet shop store in the Diwali time. By the chance, by Krishna's mercy arrangement, he able to meet our devotees as usual, Mataji, and he inspired by Mataji. Then now the journey is the progress. Then last, last week, like, uh, yeah, Abhapa, um, Christmas, uh, he visited to Eldorado Center and stage one day. This is, I know, uh, it is better. Prabhuji will speak himself. It's more better. Yes, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, thank Prabhuji. You. Kindly, if you can add in thank some you. more information. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mataji. Uh, thank you for uh, you know giving me this chance uh, to uh, speak whatever I, I uh, have, uh, uh, you know, heard and then have uh, you know come across uh, with uh, so many devotees uh, in my journey spiritual journey for the last uh, i would say uh, 20 years but uh, because you know i came to kenya in 1997 as a bachelor and uh, i came to work uh, in a flower farm uh, then you know i was not practicing any krishna consciousness uh, then one of my friend came from uh, Bangalore, India, and then we were close friends in, in even in our college. Then you know we uh, because of our friendship, you know we uh, uh, we were uh, staying together in the same house as bachelors. And then he had come from uh, his, I mean he had been introduced to his con in Bangalore, and then he started telling me these things. Then immediately you know uh, as if you know I had uh, left somewhere from that point, and then I wanted to start. I immediately, okay, uh, although I I was uh, born in a Brahmin family, but uh, I had taken to, you know, drinking and all those things. But immediately when I heard those, uh, you know, Prabhupada's uh, books and then, uh, you know, talks on Prabhupada, and I, I immediately left all those things and then started uh, chanting from that day itself. And I used to visit uh, Nairobi temple. So my Krishna consciousness started started basically from Kenya. Then uh, after that, you know, uh, destiny took took me back to back to India, and then you know, I got married uh, to uh, Rangavali. Uh, she's also she's also now in in this discussion today. So <clears throat> we were both, uh, yeah, we, we both uh, went back to India. I mean, I went back to India after completing uh, one contract. Uh, then uh, uh, I was in uh, I was in uh, Hosur uh, working in a company, and then. I, I had I wanted to meet devotees very badly and then I was seeing you know uh, once in few days I had seen some devotees with uh, Tilak and then you know uh, you know Shika and everything so we, I really wanted badly wanted to meet uh, you know devotees and then go to the center but you know in those times you know we didn't have uh, much communication like what we have now so then uh, uh, 
you know uh, my wife was carrying and then she she was uh, you know about to uh, be confirmed as you know bearing a child then uh, that uh, doctor told us that you know why don't you go to the uh, the ram mandir here so take blessings of ram that been you are you are you are going to become a father then we went there and then we took blessings and then we heard the kirtan coming hari krishna mahamantra kirtan coming from by the side then we just we thought we thought that we we have got we have got the thing what we wanted we just rushed there then we uh, from that day you know the journey again continued and then uh, i i i mean you know, you know i worked in uh, ethiopia as well but still uh, i got initiated uh, in 2011 uh, by his holiness uh, jay patak sir maharaj my both uh, my me, myself and my wife on the same day so from then onwards we are uh, connected to uh, uh, uh center in uh, in bangalore uh, under the guidance of uh, his grace venugu uh, vijayagudam venugopal das and then uh, uh, her grace prem padmini mata ji so uh, basically they are uh, you know they established uh, uh, in the middle east in uh, uh, in uh, muscat which is known as mathura desh uh, you know many many devotees many many devotees are there in mathura desh so we are uh, under his uh, under their guidance uh so uh, still trying uh, to you know uh, continue our krishna consciousness by the grace of devotees so here uh, again i have got a chance to uh, to continue my journey because last 6 7 years i was i wasn't able to uh, do much but okay i was i was uh, chanting but still uh, you know doing you know online uh, you know youtube uh, you know uh, classes of different uh, devotees Uh, so i am very fortunate to be associated with uh, iskon uh, uh, eldoret through of course mansinga mata ji and also path prem uh, prabhu uh, that's it mata ji that's that's all i want to say and then i don't want to drag too much <laughs> thank you prabhu ji thank you so uh, again another evidence that krishna works miracles in our lives whenever we want something sure. he gives us we have to want it bad enough and he's always there waiting for us so thank you very much for sharing your story prabhu ji um so back to today's uh, text uh, prabhu ji we are on text 71 and should we uh, is it okay to follow the same format we'll recite the text word to word translation and read the purport or would yes. you like to read the purport no no uh, we can we can follow the same thing mataji yeah okay. shashwin would you like to read the purport today Yes, Mata Ji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Text seventy-one. Shraddha, Shraddhawan. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Soni Mata Ji, would you like to read the word to word? Hare Krishna, yes. Krishna. And then Divyesh Prabhu Ji, if you can kindly read the translation and purport after Soni Mata Ji. Shraddhavan, Shraddhavan, faithful, faithful, Anushaya, Anushaya, not envious, not envious, Cha, Cha, and and Shrunat, Shru, Shnu, Shnuyat, Shnuyat. Does does here does here does here api api certainly 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 yeah 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 who who naraha naraha a man sah sah he he api Api, also, also, Mukta, 
Muktaha. Being liberated. Being liberated. Suban. Suban. The auspicious. The auspicious. Lokan. Lokan. Planets. Planets. Rapnuyak. Rapunyak. He attains. He attains. Punyakarmanam. Punyakarmanam. Of the Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. And one who listens with faith and without envy becomes free from sinful reactions and attains to the auspicious planets where the pious dwell. The perfect by Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. In the, 16, in the 67th verse of this chapter, the Lord explicitly forbade the Gita's being spoken to those who are envious of the Lord. In other words, Bhagavad Gita is for devotees, for the devotees only. But it so happens that sometimes a devotee of the Lord will hold open class. And in that class, not all the students are expected to be devotees. Why do such persons hold open class? It is explained here that although not everyone is a devotee, Still, there are many men who are not envious of Krishna. They have faith in him as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. If such a person, if such persons hear from a bona fide devotee about the Lord, the result is that they become at once free from all sinful reactions. And after that, they attain to a planetary system where all righteous persons are situated. Therefore, simply by hearing the Bhagavad Gita, even a person who does not try to be a pure devotee attains the result of the, of the righteous activities. Thus, a pure devotee of the Lord gives everyone a chance to become free from all sinful reactions and to become a devotee of the Lord. Generally, those who are free from sinful reactions, those who are righteous, very easily take to Krishna consciousness. The word punya karmanam is very significant here. This refers to the performance of great sacrifices, like the Asva Medha Yajna mentioned in the Vedic literature. Those who are righteous in performing devotional service but who are not pure can attain the planetary system of the Polesta or Dhruva Loka, where Dhruva Maharaj is presiding. He is a great devotee of the Lord, and he has a special planet which is called Pole Star, the Pole Star. Hare Krishna, thank you. Hare Krishna, thank you very much, Tijesh Prabhuji. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, can we uh, welcome you to this group? And we'd like to uh, offer our humble obeisances to Rangavali Gopi Devi Dasi Mataji as well. Thank you, Mataji, for joining this group. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Thank you, Mataji, for this uh, for this opportunity, uh, uh, which uh, I think I've, I'm I'm feeling utterly qualified to speak on this forum. But uh, I would uh, I mean I would try and then you know. Speak a few uh, things what I've uh, what I've known and what I've uh, heard from my seniors. So at least uh, that is uh, it will be a purificatory process for myself, my uh, my spiritual uh, progress. So uh, starting with the verse, you know, uh, I mean it's it's been a, it's been a real uh, you know uh, journey for me as well, uh, uh, joining this group <clears throat> and then. Uh, reopening the book of Bhagavad Gita and then studying uh, Bhagavad Gita among amongst the devotees, uh, it's been really you know uh, each verse is uh, you know it's 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 a revelation itself, and um, uh, each day is is I, I look for I look for this time although I I uh, uh, work in uh, thirty kilometers from Nakuru uh, I mean I have to travel every day and then I rush back and then you know prepare my prasadam and then. Uh, uh, you know, I, I uh, most most of the days I try to attend the attend this class, and uh, it's been really really wonderful with a lot of devotees from across the world uh, giving giving their uh, you know insights into the Bhagavad Gita, and as we we were discussing yesterday with uh, with Rukma Prabhu that uh, it's better we you know that we go through this journey again because 
uh, how, how, I mean, how many ever times we, we go through this journey, it'll become, it'll give a new dimension to each verse what we what we study. So with this uh, with this thought, I know I I like to begin begin this uh, discussion. Uh, in this in this uh, shloka, uh, I mean, we can we can see some two three important uh, words which, which uh, Krishna is mentioning. That is one is uh, shraddha, uh, and then uh, another is uh, anusuyas. That is uh, uh, shraddha is uh, faith. Uh, second is anusuyas is uh, the envy, and uh, shruniya dapi. I mean, does here. So these are these are the uh, very very important uh, words uh, for in the, in the life of a devotee. Like uh, Prabhupad also used to mention shraddha. Shraddha is is uh, is is faith. So uh, faith usually used to give uh, uh, an example that uh, you 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 are uh, having faith when your day to day activities also you have faith. Like uh, if you go to a barber shop and uh, you just sit for a for a haircut or uh, for a shave then uh, you have faith in that person that uh, he has a knife in his hand and then you are sure that he is not going to cut your throat. He's just going to give you a haircut. So that is the faith that you have developed in, 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 in the barber. See, th that, is, that, is, th that is the experience that you have gone through and then you put your faith in that. So Shraddha, Shraddha is very important for, uh, for, a, for a life of a devotee, in a life of devotee. Uh, also, Rupa Goswami has said that this is Adav Shraddha. That means uh, first is Shraddha. So when you have Shraddha, that means Krishna is watching your, your level of faith and then level of interest in, uh, in spiritual life. Then from there, he will guide you. Because seeing your level of faith, then only he will guide you to the next level, which is Adav Shraddha. After that, Tada sadhu sangha so when you when you are when you are in shraddha then he will give you the association of devotees so adho shraddha tata sadhu sangha then if both are happening then then when you go to uh, sadhu sangha what they will do sadhu sangha is always they will engage you in bhajana kriya so they will always engage you in talks of spirituality talks about krishna they, they don't want to discuss anything else so sadhu sangha will definitely lead to bhajana kriya so then in bhajana kriya if you are doing bhajana kriya for a long period of time then depending on your level of surrender level of faith then you will start uh, getting the next to get to getting to the next level which is anartha nivrutti so we have uh, you know every one of us have got you know born with anarthas so you know each each one of us you know are, are in different levels of uh, material modes of nature and then a lot of anarthas are there so these are the four steps you know of the the the, the bhakti marg you know the path of uh, self realization where we we want to undergo before we go to we even talk to the next level so adho shraddha tata sadhu sangha then bhajana kriya then anartha nivrutti so I mean, many of us are, I mean, I, I'm speaking about me. We are just caught in these four, uh, you know, uh, Shraddha, then, you know, Sadhu Sangha, then Bhajana Kriya, then Anartha Nivruti. So we are just, you know, just purifying our consciousness by associating with devotees, then, you know, chanting the names of the Lord, and then, you know, doing Kirtana, doing, you know, uh, Harikata, I mean, uh, you know, hearing and then chanting. All these things, it is purifying our senses. So the more and more we purify our senses, then the, the next stage is nishta. So after that, uh, we go to the nishta level. Then we are firmly fixed in our practice of Krishna consciousness. So then after that, uh, we go to, we develop interest, you know, you know, asakti. So this is this is a journey uh, which uh, you know Rupa Goswami has uh, you know nicely you know given a step by step step by step you know so this is a very very uh, important uh, you know word for a for a, a person who is interested in spirituality. So Shraddha, you know we we must have faith you know without faith we can't proceed further. So then 
Krishna also mentioned anusuyas. So that means this is envy. So envy, uh, among all the, the qualities, you know, uh, discussed, you know, kama, krodha, loba, uh, moha, madha, matsarya. So out of the, after the different, uh, you know, uh, different, uh, what I, or I can say, bad qualities, what we have, you know, by associating with uh, material nature, these are, these are the different, uh, you know, uh, called anarthas we want to erase. So out of that, many of these can be engaged in devotional service. Like uh, Kroda, for example, Hanuman used Kroda, that means anger, in the service of Krishna. So he was able to, you know, uh, you know, anger. When he went to, uh, I, I mean, when he went to Sri, I mean, Lanka, uh, then, uh, you know, uh, he wanted to pass the message of Lord Ram to uh, Mother Sita. Then, he was caught and then, you know, uh, he was caught by Ravana and then he, they wanted to set fire to his tail. Yeah. So, so uh, when, when uh, you know, he, he just reacted in a perfect way by showing the anger that if you don't surrender to Lord Ram, you know, this is what a devotee can do to you. Just, he just burnt the whole Lanka with his, with his tail set on fire. So just, you know, uh, you know, uh, Ravana's, uh, you know, assistants also who are brothers, you know, even including Vidura told them, you know, they, they, I mean, Lord Rama is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, you know, you know why don't you release uh, Mother Sita? And then, you know, he, I mean, he, he's Supreme Personality of Godhead, but, you know, uh, uh, I mean, demoniac nature is such uh, that you are, you are uh, you're not in the mood to listen. So then, you know, even though he saw the devotee of Lord Ram, burned the whole Lanka, what he had built. Uh, so, you know, uh, uh, with a lot of this thing, a lot of power, but it was burnt in a, in a flash. So, uh, Hanuman could use anger in, in service of the Lord. So, likewise, many of the, many of the you know, this uh, karma also lasts. I mean, anger, greed, you know, greed, you can be, you can use greed also in the service of Krishna. You can greedy, you can be greedy for uh, you know, having association of Krishna devotees and you can be greedy for, you know, chanting, you can be greedy for reading books, you can be greedy for, uh, you know, uh, going to the dhams. You, you, can, you can use greed also in the service of Krishna. So, this way, uh, envy, you know, envy cannot be used in the service of Krishna because how can you, how can you, uh, you know, have envy towards someone and then also use that uh, you know, character of envy in the service of Krishna. You can't use it. So, the acharyas and the devotees are also saying that this is the only thing that we should not, we should try to avoid and then we should try and then uh, minimize. Even though uh, the nature, you know, nature of, uh, you know, the, the material nature is that, you know, we are envious. You know, uh, we, are, we are just, you know, uh, seeing other uh, people and then we become envious. You know, they are, uh, you know, they may not be related to us, but still we become, uh, we become envious. Okay. Oh, he's doing, uh, he's taken a nice car and he's taken a nice apartment and he's taken, oh, he was with me only. He has grown up so much in business. So envy, you know, starts automatically. So uh, the only, only uh, way is to uh, study the scriptures, understand uh, all these uh, things uh, among the devotees. Of course, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has uh, uh, given us a very, very, very simple and easy way to, uh, to uh, you know, uh, get away with this anarthas. So that, that is the Trunadapi Suni Chena. I mean, uh, sorry. Cheto Darpana Marjanam Bhava Maha Dhavag Nirvapanam. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in his life I mean, when uh, Krishna came, he gave the Bhagavad Gita and uh, Vyasamuni gave the Bhagavatam to us, which is the explanation of uh, uh, interactions of devotees with Krishna. And uh, Bhagavad Gita is a song of the Lord. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has not left any, any major, you know, uh, you know as uh, his contribution. But he has kept only eight shlokas. Shikshashtakam. So Shikshashtakam 
is you know if you study the shikshashtakam very scrutinizingly it is almost just the gist of uh, bhagavad gita so if it is step by step step by step so in the first shloka he says cheto darpanam arjanam bhava maha davagni nirvapanam shreya kairava chandrika vitaranam vidya vadu jeevanam anandham budi vardhanam pratipadam purnamrata swadanam sarvatma stapanam param vijayate shri krishna sankirtanam so this is this is a very 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 uh, you know uh, important thing for a, for a devotee that for millions of millions of birth we have accumulated dust on the heart and then only way to you know we have we have even lost uh, uh, in understanding that i'm not this body so how how do we you know get back that knowledge that uh, i'm not this body because you know just by saying that i'm not this body it, it won't work so it has to go into our you know uh, into our soul that uh, you know we are not this body so cheto darpana marjana means you know we are cleansing our hearts with lot of anarthas with the chanting of the holy name so the chanting of the holy name is so powerful that it can reveal it can reveal our true identity so so this this is what uh, you know uh, Uh, we we understand from chaitanya mahaprabhu's life also it's it's uh, it's actually propat is told that bhagavad gita is is uh, the basic study and then shrimad bhagavatam is uh, the post graduate study and uh, uh, chaitanya charitamrita is uh, is the post doctoral yeah so likewise you know uh, we have to go but propat is told that we have to go systematic way that first you study scrutinizingly bhagavad gita then you go to bhagavatam shrimad bhagavatam and then you go to chaitanya charitamrita because uh without understanding without understanding the basics of uh, i mean krishna is explained in uh, bhagavad gita that you are not this uh, body dehina sminyata dehe kaumaram yavanchara so step by step uh, i like uh, i mean uh, uh, radhakanta prabhu has told the first six, six chapters of bhagavad gita that teaches you how to live the six, the next six chapters will teach you how to love and the next the, the last six chapters teaches you how to renounce so so the, this this is a very uh, nice uh, you know uh, understanding of the gita that you know uh, scrutinizingly we can study bhagavad gita and then uh, go to the go to shrimad bhagavatam so where shrimad bhagavatam is uh, description of devotees and the interaction of devotees with krishna in every you know uh, sometimes uh, people ask you know suddenly you know prabhupada is told suddenly you don't have to jump to bhagavatam and then go to the 10th canto where the mysterious pastimes of krishna with gopis has been explained so we don't have to jump to the 10th chapter and then you know go to the gopi geet or you know go to you know the activities of krishna with the gopis which definitely as conditioned souls we cannot understand immediately so we have to go step by step step by step so then when we are completely purified then we can understand the activities of krishna with the gopis so there is another word important uh, word in this uh, in this uh, shloka shunyat does here so this hearing process hearing process you know uh, we can we can only do in in the human form of life in all other species of life hearing is not possible so our ears are only given for understanding and hearing the topics of krishna otherwise the ear is useless so rupa goswami has told i wish i had millions of tongues and millions of ears to hear the names of krishna so he was he was so you know uh, you know uh, uh, <clears throat> he was so uh, addicted to the i mean the chanting of the krishna name that he was saying that i would i would like to have millions of tongues and millions of uh, ears so this hear, hearing process is very important and then very uh, uh, so th- this this also purifies this, this hearing process also purifies uh, and uh, also like uh, <clears throat> pralada maharaj has told in his uh, uh, when uh, he was uh, told that what are the what are the uh, best process for uh, you know devotional service he said 
ಶ್ರವಣ ಕೀರ್ತನ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಸ್ಮರಣ ಪಾದ ಸೇವನ ಅರ್ಚನ ವಂದನ ದಾಸ್ಯ ಸಾಕ್ಯ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಲಿಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ನೈನ್ ಪ್ರೋಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿವೋಷನಲ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಟು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೊ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರೋಪಾಲ್ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಸ್ ಪರ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡೂ ನೈನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕಾಂಟ್ ಡೂ ನೈನ್ ಅಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಡೂ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೂ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಚಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಬೈ ದ ಚಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಬೋತ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಚಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಚಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಹಾಮಂತ್ರ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಚಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೆನ್ ವೆನ್ ವೆರಿ ಆರ್ ಅಟೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಭಗವತ್ ಭಗವತ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ದೆನ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ದ ಅನರ್ಥ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಗೋ ವೇ ಸ್ಲೋಲಿ 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 ದೆನ್ ಪ್ರೋಪಾದ್ ಪ್ರೋಪಾದ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅದರ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಅನರ್ಥಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ದ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನರ್ಥಾಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೆಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ನೌ ಆರ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಟು ದ ಸೀಟ್ಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಪುಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೀಟ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಸೀಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪ್ರೌಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗಿವ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ ಸೊ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸೇ ಓ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಎನಿ ಅದರ್ ಎನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಬಟ್ ವೈ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಬಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಸೀಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಸೋನ್ ಬೈ ಆಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸೋನ್ ಬೈ ಆಸ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ವಿ ವುಡ್ ಹವ್ ಡನ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ವುಡ್ ಹವ್ ಯು ನೋ ಹರ್ಟ್ ಸಮಬಡಿ ವಿ ವುಡ್ ಹವ್ ಕಿಲ್ಡ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಸೀಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಫ್ರಕ್ಟಿಫೈಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ but krishna is so merciful that he is not giving everything at once if he gives everything at once we will be finished we will we'll not will not do even uh, you know will won't be in the frame of mind to even chant the maha mantra so he is giving us in as in bits and pieces so that you know it's this is a mix this earthly planet you know even the demigods uh, would like to be born here because it, this is a mixed the pleasure uh, like when you go to higher planet system the pleasure the happiness you know in the sense the uh the material pleasures are increasing so if you you don't have time you know like uh, you don't have time to you know uh, understand or you don't you, you don't have that because there is too much pleasure so then if you go to hellish planets then there is too much pain so this earthly planet is a is a, a nice combination and especially in the kaliyuga that you know the process is so simplified and uh, it becomes so easy because you know if you are told in the satyuga that you have to uh, stand on one leg for 60000 years to attain the same thing kritaya dhyayate vishnu tetaya majato makai dwapare paricharyayam haritat kalitat hari kirtana so the same process the same benefit what you are able to get in the satyuga by doing tapasya for 60000 years on uh, one leg so you have, you can get it by chanting of the holy names so this this is a this is a very nice uh, you know opportunity for all of us to hear i mean uh, to to have faith to have faith in guru to have faith in the scriptures to have faith in uh, propas books and to have have faith in the sankirtana movement of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu so by this way definitely we will see like uh, propad used to give the example of sugar candy so sugar candy for a person who is uh, in jaundice it is tasteless so if you if you if you have sugar candy uh, if you give a sugar candy to a person who is suffering from jaundice it is tasteless basically it is tasteless in the beginning so slowly 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 when the disease comes down the taste starts to increase so similarly our uh material condition is material disease is also like that we are diseased basically so the disease will get over only when we start, i mean start, start to take the medicine and then medicine is tasteless in the, in the beginning so when we the disease condition starts to go down uh, our uh, taste in the names also taste in krishna's past times and taste in uh, you know doing all the spiritual activity increases so also uh, propod also mentions in the in the purport that uh, we will go to uh, the planetary system of the pole star so how many have you uh, been able to vis- i mean see the pole star in the sky uh, have you been uh, anybody have seen the pole star yes proji yes yes 
okay 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 yeah. so you four can... star in the four star usually in the north sky you can correct, see correct. and there are seven stars like atri angira vasishta maricha katru pulaha pulesta atri angira vasishta maricha they are rotated to the pole star they are correct, the great sages they are rotated to the pole star correct correct yes prabhu so pole star uh, is uh, is a uh, is a uh, planet it's a spiritual planet but luckily uh, we can see the spiritual planet from this material world but it was it was given by krishna to dhruva maharaja so uh, i would just like to uh, narrate the story of dhruva maharaja since it is mentioned here so dhruva was a uh, boy born to a king called uttanapada so uttanapada had two wives called suniti and suruchi so dhruva dhruva maharaja was the son of suniti and then uh, the king had another wife called suruchi so then uh, as a young boy five year old boy he wanted to sit on the lap of his father so then when he went went and asked uh, father can i sit on your lap because uh, my my brothers are also sitting then uh, the step mother uh, suruchi told that you can't sit you have to take a birth through my womb then only you can sit then uh, you know dhruva maharaja uh, uh, is a kshatriya and then he became a little bit agitated by by the piercing words of uh, uh, his step mother and then he went to went to uh, ask this question to his mother that uh, what I, what i can do uh, you know uh, i've been insulted like this i can't sit on my father's lap so uh, his mother told that okay you i can't help you because you know your father is uh, you know uh, favoring uh, your step mother and he's not favoring to me if god can help you you can get some help otherwise i can't help you so then he was so inquisitive and then he was so determined so then he said i want to see god where is that where is god i want to see god and he said no no uh, i don't know much about god but still the munis and the great rishis go to the forest and meditate on the lord and then you can see him then you can ask your question then he he was so determined that he went to he went to the forest he went to the forest and then started asking because he was a small child and he didn't know anything about god he started asking uh, he started to see a tiger he started to see an elephant he started to see and different animals are you god are you god like that but you know uh, obviously then krishna saw his determination and then sent narada muni so narada muni came first of all narada muni told no 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 you are just a young boy then you know please uh, don't you know this is a very very dangerous place it's a forest and you can be eaten by animals uh, please go back you know you, you can go back and after come after you are uh, you know you are become adult then he said no 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 if you if you have an answer to my question that where is god show me god and i want to ask him a question please then only you come to me otherwise i don't want to talk to you then seeing the determination of uh, the child narada muni said okay now i'll give you a mantra then he give he gave the mantra om namo bhagavate vasudevaya so then he told just sit on this place and then chant om namo bhagavate vasudevaya so for six months continuously he chanted om namo bhagavate vasudevaya then in the first month he was eating then the second month he reduced his eating third month even less fourth month even less and then sixth month no water or something then sixth month he was even taking very little breath so this this uh, you know this devotional you know intense you know he started to see the paramatma outside so he made he made you know the entire planetary system started to becoming hot because of his meditation so then uh, uh, brahma and uh, brahma and other devas you know usually approach vishnu for any trouble so then they went and approached him and then krishna appeared vishnu lord vishnu appeared to him and then he gave him darshan so when he gave him darshan then dhruva maharaja became uh, you know uh, then he asked what you want then you know he said i was asking for a glass piece here yeah? you know i wanted to rule the kingdom i wanted to sit on my father's lap i was asking for glass pieces but i have seen a diamond so why do why why should i ask for glass pieces so he he was feeling sorry that you know i was asking something of this material world but i i got you krishna 
who is who is diamond so then krishna is so merciful that he he gave dhru maharaja the the same kingdom what his father was ruling he ruled for many thousands of years and then after that there is description in the bhagavatam that dhru maharaja was taken by a spiritual airplane to the spiritual planet and then krishna gave him the spiritual planet known as uh, dhruva loka so dhruva loka is the one which is working like a uh, a pivot in the chandelier so luckily you know we will have the vedic planetarium in the maya in, the, in mayapur uh, very soon uh, then it will be depicted there how all the planetary systems millions and millions of planets are rotating like a chandelier holding the pole star as a pivot all the planetary systems are rotating so this will be uh, this is a dream project of sri rashila propath and then uh, also this was predicted by nityananda prabhu that adbhuta mandir one adbhuta mandir will come in mayapur and then many 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 thousands and crores of devotees come and will come and visit this temple and uh, we can all see this tivo vp temple of vedic planetarium is coming and then uh, uh, very soon maybe i mean because of this corona uh, it is uh, it is getting delayed otherwise they had a, they had a, a plan to finish by 2018 or 2019 because of corona i think it is postponed now 2022 they are uh, you know uh, trying to inaugurate it and then you can see also the the the, the big dome coming up and then the it is it is a very really adbhut mandir you know uh, you know we should we should all uh, you know if krishna uh, uh, wishes uh, we should all go there and then see i mean see that uh, adbhut mandir i mean when 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 it's inaugurated so this way uh, uh, the the important points to take from this uh, shloka is again uh, i would like to say the the shraddha the shraddha then the envy uh, the point of envy and also the eagerness to hear so shun uh, shunivat is uh, eagerness to hear so all these points uh, is uh, i mean i i thought uh, i i wanted to mention all these points and of course uh, uh, as uh, propad has told in his uh, in his purports that uh, the sinful reactions you know uh, when we become free from sinful reactions then we can start to easily surrender to krishna but nitendra prabhu prabhu's process is so simple you know he even gave this krishna consciousness to even the drunkards like jaga and madai so he, they were drinking you know they were drinking and they were born in brahmana families and then they were uh, you know they had become drunkards and then they were become notorious you know like uh, you know uh, uh, rowdies so just because nitendra prabhu wanted to deliver yeah and then they they were sent by chetra mahaprabhu uh, to deliver and they were just going door to door door to door just please chant krishna's name please chant krishna's names so when they came to jagad madai they were in a very very inebriated state that they were drunken they were dicking from pots pots uh, thrown all over then chetra nitendra prabhu he is a guru tattva so he wanted uh, to uh, make uh, these two people you know uh, get the blessings of chaitanya mahaprabhu then uh, he requested please chant chaitanya mahaprabhu's gauranga bola gauranga bhaja gauranga he said then uh, you know uh, one of the brothers threw the through the stone uh, i mean the broken pot to on the nitram prabhu's uh, forehead so he started bleeding of course uh, you know it's a transcendental activity so he started bleeding because he wanted he knew that these people won't go to chaitanya mahaprabhu so chaitanya mahaprabhu i have to make chaitanya mahaprabhu come here so he started to bleed and then uh, uh, the news went to chaitanya mahaprabhu and then chaitanya mahaprabhu came running and then he wanted to kill he, he was invoking the sudarshana chakra to kill these two miscreants then chaitanya mahaprabhu i mean nitanya prabhu uh, took to the i mean uh, 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 to the leg of uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu said please this is not your mission in this in this avatara your 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 astra is uh, to give mercy so to give mercy so please be merciful then uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu told uh, these two drunkards that please leave these propensities and then chant hari hari krishna mahamantra then he took all the sins 
he took all the sins and then they became devotees you know also you, if you go to uh, puri jagannath uh, i think their their samadhis are there so with this i think uh, i would like to end my session thank you mataji thank you for the opportunity hare krishna hare krishna prabhu thank you very much thank you for simplifying this verse right from shraddha and then association and uh, harinam and then uh, um, how to get rid of envy because um, you can't incorporate uh, uh, krishna with envy um and then also emphasizing the point that uh, we are very nicely uh, and privileged to be situated in kaliyug and this yug and all we have to do is chant and um, we will get the benediction thank you for emphasizing all these points um are there any questions or comments yes sandhya kindly unmute and ask your question hari krishna prabhu ji hari krishna mata ji and all devotees hari krishna, hari krishna. Um, prabhu ji could you please give example of envy um, i mean i know we have been told that we were envious of krishna so we came on earth but i don't understand envy on earth against krishna I just don't understand that concept could you please give examples hari krishna um you see uh, we we had uh, you know we we came to this uh, material world because of envy to krishna because we wanted to lord it lord over uh, you know we wanted to be enjoyers so that, that that's why we we were sent back sent, sent to material world to be lords of material nature but we are we are not the enjoyers we are the enjoyed so we we were uh, we were sent here to uh, uh, enjoy so we wanted we we envied krishna that you know why only krishna is enjoying i want to enjoy also so the, we wanted to become masters so we want we don't want to be, to be servants so that's why we were sent here so then with this package we, it comes lot of other packages also here in this material world there is birth death old age disease there is a lot of problems so uh, here uh, because of our conditioning for millions and millions of births you know we 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 are into different different conditions we different different uh, you know because there are 8 million 400000 species yeah these are these are just 8 million 400000 different of uh, consciousness actually uh, if if uh, they, they say in uh, if if you are cheating others if you have cheating propensity then uh, propa said you know uh, you you will you might become a jackal in your next life so because jackal you know it it goes and steals you know steals someone else's food and that comes so uh, likewise uh, so envy envy is also you know if if we, you know the example can be you know you you know day to day life you will be you will become envy on different different things you know in your workplace you you may be becoming envious of your colleagues in your becoming becoming envious of your uh, you know Uh, even prahlad maharaja uh, for example kiran kashbu was envious of his own son so he became an envy of his own son so envy is uh, is uh, not good and then you know we should try and avoid avoid this character uh, as much as possible then by the mercy of krishna then slowly slowly this this character will go away Okay, Prabhu. Just, it just means envy to anybody, not Krishna. Um, just yes, any, yes, anyone. yes, yes. Because you know, if you keep on, uh, if you don't practice in your day-to-day -day activities, uh, you, you will still continue to have this character in your in your in your heart and your mind. So it will will be difficult to you know. Uh, you it, it's like spirituality and your material activity. You can't switch on and switch off. Mm -hmm. So you have to have the same uh, thing. same kind of attitude in both both the dealings so mm -hmm. that's why it's better to you know better to uh, avoid this character okay prabhu ji thank you hari krishna hari krishna hari krishna any other questions or clarifications okay so i'd just like to prabhu ji um 
the difference between envy and jealousy because uh, jealousy is something that is unpleasant or uh, suspicious uh, or uh, you want to have rivalry while envy is discontentment um, I think um, if you can help us uh, distinguish between these two words, it will help in our understanding as well. Mm, there is a very, very thin line between these two. I think if, if, uh, if you see jealousy, jealousy is also sort of, uh, you know, connected to envy. So both are, uh, both I can say are different words, but still both meaning the same. Because if you are jealous of somebody, that means, you are uh, you are not uh, happy ha you are not happy about uh, the success of that person or you are not happy the way he is doing uh, th th that's that's what i feel can i add yes mataji yes, yes uh, priya uh, arya govinda you know bhakti vidya purna maharaja from mayapur yes you yes. know him bhakti vidya purna maharaj he had answered heard. this in mayapur Okay. Uh, about the difference between jealousy and envy. To clarify, it is Sandhya Mataji who always asks questions. I'm very happy she's inquisitive asking about envy. Envy is something uh, is so deep rooted in us because initially we were envious of Krishna and that's why to get envy out of our heart is very difficult. And this is our struggle in the material world, how we get rid of our envy. However, the different because Maharaj made it so clear him about 20 years back that jealousy is a lesser degree than envy. Jealousy is you have a nice car and I think, oh, why does he have this? I wish, no, jealousy is I wish I also had this nice car, you know. So he explained that jealousy is a lesser degree to envy. And our envy was with Krishna. We were not even jealous of Krishna. We were envious of Krishna. Why should he be the enjoyer? You know, why can't I be the enjoyer? Whereas envious is you have a nice car, which I can't afford, but I don't want you also to have the nice car. You got the difference. You have a yes. nice car, I can feel bad. Oh, he has one, I don't have bad. one. But envious goes to a higher degree. You have one, but I don't want you to have one. You oh, know yeah. why you have, why I can't have it. So that's a very high degree of jealousy, you know, in one sense. But envy is more incurable. Jealousy, you know, you can feel, okay, why is she more beautiful? Why, why are they living in a big house and, you know, but that's just within yourself. It's a fight within yourself, but the envy is like, oh, I can't tolerate. Why does she have to be? Why? I mean, I'll even go out of my way to make sure she's not there where, you, you know, she is. So that, that's what I heard the explanation from Bhaktivedya Purna Maharaj, you know. So I think uh, it made a lot of sense to me when I heard it. Thank, Thank you, Mother. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Are there any other questions or comments? Do you think uh, I, were, were you happy with that answer? I don't know because I was very pleased with Maharaj's answer. I, uh, yes, Mataji, I was, um, we had a discussion on uh, jealousy in, in, in we, a long time ago, and then uh, I also gave one of my examples um, uh, of envy and jealousy. So, yes, you explained very well, Mataji. Thank you very much. Any more questions or comments? Uh, I just want to um, ask Prabhuji and also part Prabhuji that um, um, so uh, will we will we finally be able to get rid of envy then at some stage because probably till we are fully uh, free of envy we will not be able to go back to Golok because Krishna will think oh um, they will again be envious of me is that right? 
yeah un unless unless you are completely purified you will i mean we will we will not be even uh, allowed to go to go to the spiritual planet not even to heaven prabhuji uh heaven heaven uh, heaven is a different uh, thing you know heaven it depends on what uh, pious activities you do so based on the pious activities you will be set to heavenly planets but uh, uh, without purificatory process and then completely you know uh, uh, getting rid of all these anarthas and then becoming a devotee you will not be uh, uh, you will not be entitled to uh, enter the spiritual planets but prabhu ji we all have envy and uh, we are um, we are we may be uh, or some people may have a lot of envy and some may have some degree of envy as mata ji said that this is uh, one thing which is going to take a very long time so if we are chanting um, people will start getting purified but um, can a very envious person also chant uh, i mean will they be able to chant is my question yes. yes yes mataji chanting chanting has no uh, you know uh, in the sense uh, no prerequisites you you can uh, anybody can chant you know and then the chanting will work like if a person knows the effect of medicine or if he doesn't knows the effect of medicine both in both cases it will work okay prabhuji so if a child doesn't know the, what the paracetamol does he doesn't know but the paracetamol still works right yes so chanting definitely will purify purify anybody because you know uh, he, he, uh, you know it's, it's it doesn't depend on who is chanting her but you know okay i mean the more uh, you know i mean uh, with deep understanding you chant the more uh, faster you progress but the chanting definitely has uh, effect on everyone okay prabhu ji thank you hari krishna thank you hari krishna hari krishna okay if there are no more questions prabhu ji i'll hand over to pat prabhu ji pat prabhu ji hari krishna pat prabhu ji hari krishna thank you very much prabhu ji for your nice and simple class <laughs> it's good we supposed to learn everyone and it's nice platform to speaking someone something about propas proper pot good i also thanks all the devotee who joined in this forum i request of all the devotee please unmute yourself and chant hare krishna mantra for a glorification of his grace arya govind please join hare hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna krishna hare 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 ram hare ram हरे राम राम हरे 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 राम राम हरे 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 वंशा कल्प कल्प तुच्छा पाशिपाशिपाशिपाशिपाशिपाशिपाशिपाशिपाशिपाशिपाशिपाशिपाशिपाशिपाशिपाशिपाशिपाशिपाशिपाशिपाशिपाशिपाशिपाशिपाशि